Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the uh, extensive logging mechanism using the SeriLog and SeriLog sync with uh, the Azure App Insights. We will push most of the important logs to the to the App Insights using the SeriLog sync uh, App Insights and come, let's get started. So here is the application. Uh, we have an API and we have a web app. So what we are going to do is uh, we will first uh, go and see what we already have it. So let's go to the uh, two of the app insights that was already created. This is easy when you create a web app, you can create or you can also create manually. But let me show you what I did, right? So there are two application insights, one for API, one for web API, right? One, app, one for web app and one for the API. Now, if you look at this errors, right? All these logs were logged nicely. I have 400, I have 404, I have different types of exceptions. This is, this is all very important that when exception happens, if you don't know what's happening and if you don't know the information of those exceptions, it will be super tricky to uh, you know find out and fix the problem. So what we are going to see here is we are going to use the seri log for our application. And not only that, we are going to have the extra mechanism called the exception handling and then the request and response handling and all those are pushed to the app insights using the serialog sync dot app insights there's a separate package for that which we will see and as you see on my screen if i just change the number of hours that was logged for the errors both the web app and the web api were showing up some errors right so that's what important it's not just showing up errors detailed error so in this case this was just a 404 but in the previous case you saw there was find error when you click on the view you were able to see a bunch of information right so that's when you get to see the uh, server request the failed request and all those things so you see this different api were being invoked from the local and it could be a successful api it could be a failed api what server it is you click on the view all to the right side of the trace you see this complete trace was locked it's not just one lock from the starting until the end of the request which is finished you see the last one was request finished response what was response what was all those things tracking id request id everything is recorded this is super important and super useful right uh, be it in a local environment or you deploy to uh, aws or you know uh, Azure or whatever this is the uh, this app inside sitting in Azure is going to help you see this finder exception if I pick up this finder exception and go to any of this uh, uh, you know any of the requests click on this view all to the right side it shows me the complete list of traces like what happened the request came in what happened to the request at which point it failed what was the code that was failed and in this case I was intentionally blowing out my API that's why it was showing up divide by zero exception so this is important this is super important this call trace you know call stack the events and everything is important so this will give us an idea of what went wrong and how to fix it and uh, not only that there are uh, monitoring mechanism where you know you can set up an alert okay something uh, happened and you got a find exception if you want to email them email someone or you yourself get notified they're all super important now instrumentation key and the instrumentation uh, key connection string if you pick up that and come to our application right we will start with the uh, packages you see this serilog.sync.application inside that's a package special package if you install serilog also will get installed so in our application which is there in the github repository we already have the serilog mechanism embedded okay so you just need to install this package uh, feel free to download the code from there but let's understand what was done you install this package by right clicking and go to this manage new git package right so in my case it was already installed so this is in the installed state if i filter it you will get to see that see serilog.sync.application insights um, it's already there uh, it's the latest version as of this recording the 4.0 is the latest version which is already installed and similarly, like, you know, you can go and check this uh, CS project file and see what packages was installed. And uh, we have also installed the, uh, the seri log. Uh, and then if you come to this main method, we have a try crash block in the try block. We will add a application telemetrics for application telemetrics. There's only one more thing that you have to add in the, in the app 
settings but if you come to the logging mechanism what we are doing is we are going to use the seri log as the intermediate logging mechanism and then we are also telling where to write it there's an inbuilt method called dot write to dot application insights dot application insights is coming here only because you added seri log dot sync dot application insight package okay similarly we have a uh, different mechanism called stable storage and other things that you will see shortly in the upcoming videos but for this we can either use the traces or the events uh, it really doesn't matter it just shows what you have logged in and then if you scroll down right we have something called uh, exception logging so this is an uh, intermediate or a middleware i would say this is a middleware that we have added in our pipeline so all the requests will go through this anything that happens will be caught here anything goes wrong with the exception will be caught here and we are also recording that into the log dot error that's why they're all collected as a telemetrix and installed it the next one that we have is a request response logging mechanism that is also another middleware what we are doing is we will log the incoming request the path and the method and then after the response is generated it will go reverse order the request comes in and goes in the reverse order in the pipeline so when it comes back with the response we will uh, format the response okay with the stream and then we write that response and leave the stream open so that the response is again sent back in the pipeline okay so we have added this two mechanism along with the uh, application dot sync you will be able to log a lot of information and this is really important i'm stressing this because as and when you start developing this is the important uh, logging mechanism now coming back to this app settings here um, you know you have to add this application insights log level and then this application insights or connection string this connection string is preferred you take this connection string from the app and the app insights in the azure once you copy paste this and the next one is a seri log uh, configuration so we are saying there's a using statement there's a minimum level log i know this information you can change it to information verbose debug based on how much stuff you have to put it right so uh, the minimum level is information so which means information warning detailed error will be logged and under that write to section is there we also configure the connection string because seri log we are giving permission to put those information into the app insights that is what all about okay the setting is placed in this setting and not in the development or production setting because for this demo purpose for all different environment my log is all same but in real life they will be put into a different different section because the url connection string will be different so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you learned about how to uh, configure and uh, you know add more exception logging intense uh, exception logging using the seri log and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding